Hi everyone, welcome to the Oak Hill Industrial Railroad. Let's do some switching. Well, good morning everybody. Hope you made it through the week okay. <laughs> Narrating this on Thursday. And this is the first time I've been in the train room all week. I went back to work this week. I'm still doing physical therapy, and so that's after work. It's been some long days. So we're gonna switch Cedar Heights Clay with the MW2. So our cold snap has passed, and now it's doing nothing but rain, rain, rain here in Central Kentucky. At least it's in the 50s. So luckily for us, just by luck, the uh, cars are in the right order for Cedar Heights Clay, but the first thing we have to do is pull the cars from the spur. I sort of paused here because I realized that I started running the locomotive without an idea of what I was going to do yet. <laughs> so I had to think about it for a second. Chance is still doing pretty well. My knee is doing better. And my wife has actually been sick for a couple weeks, but uh, she's doing better too. So things are on the upswing here. We're going to do what we normally do. We're going to put these two cars on the main line.
Yeah, I'm not on the back porch narrating tonight. It's, uh, wouldn't be that bad if I was, you know, had a coat on, uh, but it's dark and sort of really damp. So I just thought I'd just stay in the in the train room. A few little blips for the NW2, but like I said, they had to remove some of the weight to get the sound decoder in there, so it still runs pretty well. It runs well enough that I'm not frustrated with it. If I have to nudge it every now and then, that's livable. The two cars were putting in the Cedar Heights Clare on the end of the, the train. In case you're wondering, I don't have a long enough switch lead to have kept the two cars I pulled from Cedar Heights uh, coupled onto these four cars. I don't have that much space. I'm going to go ahead and pull the Conrail boxcar up this door to number one.
So now we're going back to pick up the uh, two cars that we left on the main. And then we'll pull forward and put uh, the entire train on the siding. And we'll start the next video off next week with the DTNI coming back from Pedro with some uh, clay loads. So as soon as the train gets onto the uh, siding, clear of Route 93, we'll end the video. Uh, we'll start next week's video with the DTNI train coming back northbound uh, from Pedro, short train of uh, open uh, hoppers filled with clay. So hope everybody enjoyed this. I hope you have a, a great weekend. And as always, everybody stay safe.